Hello everybody, welcome to another Android Studio tutorial. My name is Mitch Tabian and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to be carrying on from the previous graph view tutorial where I made this sine curve here. And in this one I'm going to show you how to manually set the window. So you can see here that um, it's obviously not optimal. Like it cuts, since I only started the graph at negative 5, you get, have all this empty space here and all this empty space here. So we'll we'll learn how to manually set the window so you can only see the curve in the window. So what you want to do is go to the documentation area for, for the website. So type type in graph view like you did before. Okay, I'll just do it again. Type in graph view in Google. Go to android-graphview.org. That's the site. Then we can go over to the documentation here. And just scroll down to here. It says, um, if you want to define explicit bounds for the viewport, do this stuff. <coughs> so, I'm just going to copy all this. And, um, where am I going to put it? Let's put it here. So, just paste this in here. Oh, shit. Bump my mouse. Uh, yeah, so we can, or maybe we, maybe we should prompt the user. Well, you, you should know how to do that anyway. So, if yeah, so like what I did in my quadratic equation app is prompted the user for an x min, a y max, or an x min, x max, y min, y max, and then set them in here. So, if we want to set our min x, since we start this graph at negative. Uh, Five, we'll put that in there. Max, I don't know. Let's just say positive five. And sine sine only goes from one to negative one, so we'll say min y will be negative two point zero and two point zero. And that should be actually all there is to it. So we'll run the emulator. Oh yeah, I guess I'll do that next. <clears throat> you can do it. There we go. Okay, so that looks much nicer than we had before. We can see uh, sign starts at 0, goes up to 1, and just repeats itself. And we have negative 5 here for our x min, and positive 5 here for our x max. So if you, so right now you'll notice if I click on here, I can't, I can't move the graph or anything. So that's um, what I was just looking at in the documentation here. If we set, if we use graph.viewport.setScalable, and set that to true, that will allow us to, um, to scroll. I think, yeah, there's another one. Yeah, this is there's a scrollable and there's a scalable. So this is this will be the scrollable. I guess I might as well put the um, the other one in here too. So set, yeah, see so set scrollable or set scalable, sorry. And we'll set that to true also. So the scalable one is going to let you pinch it with your fingers and decrease the scale on the x-axis. It doesn't let you do anything to the y-axis with this library for some reason. You can't scroll in the y-direction, you can not You can only scroll in the x-direction, and you can only scale in the x-direction. See, so if I... The emulator is really slow, but if you actually run this on a normal device, it's it's pretty smooth. So you can see I'm, I'm, scale, I'm scrolling down the down the x-axis. And... Oh, I don't. I guess you can't really test the scalable with the emulator because you need to pinch it with your with your two fingers. So yeah, but that that just lets you change the scale. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. I think in the next one I'll add I'll add a second data series to the same plot, and I'll I'll, I'll put specific points on the plot. Uh, so like if you wanted to um, emphasize certain points on your plot. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.